Well, let me ask you about the challenge you perhaps on the, the idea that this is a rushed process. Your guys were in government for the last decade. It was Malcolm Turnbull who rejected the Uluru Statement from the Heart without so much of a, of a press conference. This has been talked about. There's been committee after committee, debate, um, you know, hand-wringing over the fact that more needs to be done to close the gap. Why didn't your side of government do more? Why have you just come up with this position now? They've never, it's not a matter of just coming up with this position with respect. I mean, closing the gap, how long have they been working on that? There's a slogan for you. There is a vibe. This is what we're going to do. Have a look at the successes. You know, in many cases, they've gone backwards. Now, this is something, this was a proposal that was put up after the election last year. So, you know, it's less than 12 months in the incubation. There has been... Uh, it's only been in the last very short period of time that we've seen what the wording is. Mm. And a lot of the information that we are seeking to make sure that we're going down the right track, you know, the uh, uh, Solicitor General's report, etc., is continually being denied... Why don't we have that transparency? So it's not something that's been there over time. I mean, we, we talked about recognition in the Constitution back in uh, John Howard's time. That's it, right. In their way through the process. We're still yeah, but even about proponents want... of the no case um, reject that idea. They say it's race... We should have nothing race-based in the Constitution. And already some... some within the Liberals are saying they're going to actively campaign with that no camp. OK. And... and, and... At the end of the day, people are entitled to their own views. And, and I'm not going to argue one way or another, uh, another with them. I think, quite frankly, it's wrong. I mean, I was the chair of the Northern Australia Committee when we looked at the destruction of the Dugan Rock Shelters over in Western And let me tell you, it is a historical fact. Uh, in, in one of those shelters that was destroyed, they'd gone down two metres and they had unequivocal fact that there were Indigenous people living in that area at that point, at, at two metres, they were able to prove at 45,000 years. Now, so people are suggest, you know, there is those that suggest it could be back at 60,000. I'm not going to argue. If we go down another metre in that shelter, we may well find it's further than 60,000. But whatever it is, it is a historical fact, you know, that they have been here. And from my perspective, I cannot see any reason why that couldn't be acknowledged in the Constitution. People might have their own agendas as to why they do and they don't want it. It is a historical fact. And if I can't see why it shouldn't be acknowledged as such. Warren Inch, great to talk to you. We'll do it again soon. OK, all the best.